A very different story from the book but Reyna finds out in episode 6 of season 2 that there is a wild dragon residing in the Vale of Aaron. Given its name, it should come as no surprise that the Dance of the Dragons contains many dragon and dragon rider fatalities, posing serious problems for both sides since dragons end up being the most potent weapon in the conflict. But as Rhaenyra and Jessiris talk about at the conclusion of episode 5, there are still a number of wild and unclaimed dragons in Westeros that are waiting to be bonded with a rider. Episode 6 also shows Adam of Hull claiming sea smoke, leaving two enormous dragonstone dragons, Vermithor and Silverwing unclaimed. There are a few more wild dragons that have never been claimed in addition to these Targaryen dragons. Reyna Targaryen learns that there is a wild dragon in the Vale, Jane Aaron describes him as large and formidable and that he has been husting sheep in the region by burning them. Fire and Blood teases at the true identity of the Vale's wild dragon, albeit the show hasn't officially revealed it. Grey Ghost, the Cannibal, and Sheepstealer are the three known wild dragons who haunt Dragonstone according to George Martin's Fire and Blood novel. It appears that House of the Dragon has relocated Sheepstealer to the Vale, even though Grey Ghost and the Cannibal could still be involved at Dragonstone. Sheepstealer got his name from a dragon that is shown in House of the Dragon Season 2 devouring and destroying large groups of sheep in the valley. Furthermore, Sheepstealer is the only wild dragon in fire and blood to be claimed by a dragon rider, which almost proves that he is the Wild Vale dragon from Episode 6. Given that Sheepstealer was reclaimed on Dragonstone in the book, it is unknown how the Wild Dragon managed to traverse the Vale without anybody letting the Targaryens know. But now it makes sense why Jane Aaron consented to look after Rhaenyra's small children and Daemon's daughter, as she was probably keen to locate Sheepstealer a rider at the Aerie. According to Fire and Blood, Sheepstealer is comparable in size to Caraxes, Maelies, Cyrax, and Sea Smoke. If the dragon could be tamed, this would make him a tremendous asset in the conflict. It appears unlikely that Lady Jane Aaron will try to take possession of Sheepstealer in House of the Dragon, while Jessiris and Rhaenyra are searching for non-Targaryens with traces of Valyrian blood in their lineage to claim their dragons, such as Esser Stefan Darklands' vain attempt to ride sea smoke. Instead, it appears more likely that Sheepstealer will belong to Reyna Targaryen in the series. Sheepstealer may be the one to take Reyna as a rider after she failed to hatch a dragon egg and attempted to claim the dragons at Dragonstone in the past. Reyna asserted that Sheepstealer would alter two significant dragon plots from fire and blood. When Reyna's egg hatches at the Vale in the novel, she eventually acquires a dragon, the pink-scaled Morning. Even though Reyna's dragon is still quite young and tiny during the dance, the story of Morning's hatching is crucial to understanding her character in the book. Furthermore, Sheepstealer is claimed by a completely different character in the book, a dragon seed from Driftmark. Nettles, a brave adolescent girl who answered Prince Jesserai's invitation for dragon seeds to attempt mastering dragons, claims Sheepstealer in Fire and Blood. Nettles is able to form a close connection with Sheepstealer by bringing him butchered sheep to eat every morning, and the two end up playing important roles in Rhaenyra and Team Black's battle plan. But because the Wild Dragon has already established himself in the Vale, it appears that Reyna is claiming Sheepstealer and Nettles is being left out of the House of the Dragon. So what's the deal with Sheepstealer? One of the biggest mysteries left by Fire and Blood is Sheepstealer's destiny. Not every surviving character has a clear resolution because the novel finishes only five years after the presumably unsuccessful Dance of the Dragons. In the novel, Sheepstealer and Nettles defend Rhaenyra, but after Hugh Hammer and Ulf White betray her, the Queen starts to have doubts about her dragon riders. Then, in order to escape Rhaenyra's anger, Daemon dispatches Nettles and Sheepstealer from Maidenpool, the two vanish for the duration of the conflict. Following Queen Rhaenyra's death and King Aegon's return to King's Landing, he learns of rumors of Sheepstealer and Nettles being seen in the Vale of Arryn. Even now, mountain clans relate tales of a fire witch who lived in the Vale with her dragon, raising the possibility that the two may have taken refuge there following the conflict. There is optimism that House of the Dragon may be able to fully unravel the riddle of Sheepstealer's death in Fire and Blood, as there is no definitive record of when or how he dies. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.